It's the fall classic for the Mound State Apple Harvest Festival. Uh, James, welcome to the show. How are you today? Yeah, great. Thanks for having me. So just, I guess, give us an overview of the event uh, this this weekend and uh, what you guys got going on. Yeah, it's our fourth annual Apple Harvest Fall Classic. It brings in uh, players from the, the Panhandle of West Virginia, the various high schools. We've opened it up into uh, Virginia as well, into Frederick County, Virginia. Uh, our first year, we had 35 kids that registered to, to play uh, with three teams. And then this year, we're all the way up to 90 kids. Uh, we had enough to do six. We could have technically done a seventh team this year, but we wanted to keep the numbers because we do lose, inj lose injuries uh, from football and, and whatever the reasons. Uh, you got kids still playing high school fall baseball. Um, but the, the good thing with this event is, is that the kids register individually. They're not registering as teams, so they sign up, so you, and the coaches that are assigned to the teams go through and do a draft. So they, they select kids. You might have kids from Martinsburg playing with kids in Jefferson, playing with kids from Musselman, the various schools, uh, which really is neat because it, you know, they're used to playing on their high school teams. This kind of puts them together and lets them play uh, you know, with, with kids maybe they normally wouldn't get to play with. And uh, you know, that's kind of the, the, the good thing about it is it builds that baseball community even deeper than what it already is. You mentioned that the kids have to apply. Just tell us a little bit about that process and, I guess, the qualifications because, I know it's not just open to anyone. Right. Right, yeah, we opened up the, the registration back in August. Uh, we kind of put a deadline for the re deadline for the registration for the end of August, so we have time to get everything taken care of, uniforms ordered, and that sort of thing. Um, but they do have the requirement in place where you have to have a 3.0 GPA, and they have to be, you, you don't have to be on a, on a high school team. Um, you know, a lot of people think, oh, I'm not playing high school baseball, I can't play. Uh, you know, 90 eight, 99% of the kids are playing on a high school team, but it's not a requirement. The requirement is you have to have a 3.0 GPA, and then we take you on the teams, the coaches. You know, we, we work out the week before the event. So this week, teams have been practicing in the cage together. Um, what's nice is we have a great relationship with all the high school coaches and all the high school programs. They kind of shut down their fall programs for this week. Uh, I know Musselman and Jefferson did a makeup game last night. Uh, we had a couple of kids playing in that. Um, but for the most part, you know, they limit what they pitch, and so they'll be ready in, uh, to go this week. Uh, and the other great thing about the event is that uh, we, we do have a mix of ninth through 12th graders. So you have these experienced, you know, kind of uh, kids that are ready for college and the, and the seniors and juniors. Uh, get, they get to play and kind of uh, be around the younger guys. And we do put in must play rules, you know, which is a little bit different than high school. So, so the young guys, you know, aren't just sitting and watching. They do get, uh, you know, in a bat or they, they have to spend time in the field. Uh, but just being around those older kids and, and getting to practice with them and seeing what they do on their daily basis, you know, how do they prepare to go out and pitch. And and uh, so that's a, that's a good thing for these young kids to be around. And then hopefully next year, the year after, they're going to be the juniors and seniors to kind of do that same thing and pay it forward. And also, James, this year, what's new is it's going to be a little bit of a showcase event. Uh, just talk a little bit about that. Yeah, this year, uh, going through the process with my son Connor uh, last year with his, you know, recruiting and you know seeing some of the other guys, the like Carson Buber and and Kyle Lohr and those guys that are now playing college baseball. Um, I wanted to kind of open that up to these guys that are in this event. Um, you know, if they're going to participate, they come out, they work hard. Uh, so we so we have reached out to 20, 24 colleges. I've reached out to this week. Uh, I've got a commitment from eight schools that are going to be attending. Um, other schools, West Liberty. And a few others have has requested the the rosters, so it, it, it's a good opportunity for these kids. Uh, you know, of course, not everybody is going to be a college player, but if we have 90 kids and if they can come out and see the top 10, 20 kids that are there, uh, and then maybe see if there's a place for them, or maybe give them some feedback on what they can do better. Uh, you know, we have the kids like Oviedo and and some of those more experienced players that that are still looking for a home. Uh, this hopefully will be a great event. You mentioned that uh, it's taking place this weekend just give some specifics to days times and where yep. it is and yep. uh, the, admission i guess as well but yeah absolutely yeah the opening ceremonies are everything takes place at muslim high school and, and i have to give them a huge shout out for uh they've been our home since we began this pro, uh, this event uh back in 2021 uh they very welcoming let me kind of have run of the facility for the for the 
fall, you know, leading up to this event and then after it. Uh, so it'll be at Musselman High School. Uh, it's ten dollars to get in for the day, five and under is free. Or if you can pay fifteen dollars for the weekend, you get to see, you know, uh, twelve. I think we have twelve games total scheduled. Um, so a lot of baseball to be played, and uh, all the money goes back to the festival. Um, and then uh, we will have concessions opened and and uh, that sort of thing. So it's 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 a great two days of baseball, and hopefully the weather cooperates. Last year we had a little bit of trouble with the rain, uh, but this year it looks great. And for the team that wins, do they receive anything for that? Yeah, we have medals that, that go out, but more of anything, it's it's the bragging rights. You know, we have a couple of kids that's been drafted, uh, that's been involved since the, the beginning, that's been on, uh, I know like Isaac Gilbert from Musselman, he's been on the winning team, I think three times. So he just happens to get drafted on the right team, or maybe he's the lucky one. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of talking that goes on throughout the year, through the high school seasons, especially when these kids get back together when they're teammates. So more bragging rights than anything but uh it, it's still it's still a good time you mentioned it's the fourth year doing this just tell us i guess a little bit about the partnership uh with the apple harvest festival and what else the kids get to do because this is i believe the weekend before everything exactly. really kicks off for the actual festival side of things right yeah the first year we did it the same weekend and it was a little bit difficult just because we're you know away from everybody else you know having the queen be there or the board members it was difficult so we we had the idea one it's it helps with the weather so we like let's bump it out to the weekend before and that way if we do have bad weather we can still push it the weekend of um but we wanted to be able to have people come to this event because it is a two-day event all day long you miss the parade and you some of those other things so having on its own weekend was kind of just for logistics to be able to get people to attend and come out um so just so everybody could be a part of it and not miss something else by being at the baseball field all day and uh when it comes to like coaches and stuff like that and, and volunteers uh do you need any help with anything or is everything pretty much set up everything i, I take a lot on myself my wife's you know obviously big and in, involved with it uh um and then our other committee members barb frankenberry and uh, mary ruth they're all part of the the uh, the committee that we have as far as getting sponsorships for the event and, and so on and so forth but um w as far as our coaches uh you know we have some great coaches we have tom moore who's heavily involved with washington's baseball program um his son's playing at fairmont state university ryan childs is one of our coaches he's the junior legion team uh coach with trip uh, Sean Lore, which is Kyle's dad. He's, you know, a f Kyle and, and my son Connor played the very first year together in this event and came back up through. Actually, it's great. Uh, Kyle's coming back to help Sean coach this year. Connor's coming back and help me coach. So to see these, you know, young guys that have just recently graduated, now the older guys, coming back and kind of paying it forward. Um, but then we also have uh, Tanner Everton, who's heavily involved with uh, Jefferson baseball program, played at Potomac State. So we have a lot of really knowledgeable baseball guys that are involved. Tim Campbell uh, ran the West Virginia Athletics travel program for many years, and um, both of his sons played baseball at Musselman. So, so yeah, we have some great coaches. But we're always looking for more volunteers. If anybody's interested, my number's out there, my email. Um, people can reach out and, and uh, help out any way they can. Again, this is the fourth annual Apple Harvest Baseball Fall Classic that will take place this weekend at Musselman High School. 8 a.m. is when opening ceremonies begin on Saturday. Game one of six on Saturday begins at 9 a.m. and then Sunday at 9 a.m. again, games will begin uh, for the playoff bracket right. side of things. And again, $10 admission for the day, 15 gets you for the weekend, both days. Yep. So, anything else, Nick? I don't think so, unless uh, James had anything else that we didn't mention. Nope. I'll, I'll, one last thing I do want to say is next year we hope to open it up to softball. Um, our very first year we, we had the idea of, of in doing baseball and softball. We just didn't get enough girls interested in uh, in doing it, but I know softball is huge in our area right now. We have a huge following, of especially of the younger girls coming up into the high school. Um, so our, our hope is next year to open it up to softball and get at least enough registered players to get three teams going, uh, which will be fun. Um, so that way the, the girls see the boys playing this the last couple of years they always ask you know why can't we do it why can't we be a part so next year i think we're going to make that jump and if there's any softball uh coaches parents moms that want to get involved please reach out to me and, and we'll, we'll we'll get that going and all this information can be found at msahf.com fall classic hmm. so thank you coach jancy thank, thank you so much thank appreciate you. it guys